This is Nicholas. Ooh, ah. Chris Cornell, daughter's role, let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you. Just thank you. Forgive us our sins. We acknowledge your son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Okay, I thought I'd touch on this again because an article came out on our favorite Shills site about Lily Cornell's role as a nominal defendant. This came out after I did my video yesterday. It came out very late last night, still technically on the 8th of November. Um, I imagine when that piece of the court documents went around social media, Twitter, Instagram, etc., I imagine people jumped online and started assuming that Vicky was suing Lily, and I would have loved to seen the comments about that. Um, so I imagine as well, or I assume as well, Vicky, as the consummate publicist she is, decided to send this over to Brett to make it clear that she's not suing Lily as to not tarnish her image any further, but I can just picture it. Um, how many people probably jumped on social media and were talking big shit about Vicky suing Lily. And I could have done the same, but I have integrity. And uh, I actually looked into it and I assumed from minute one when I saw the phrase nominal defendant, I pretty much knew what it meant, uh, that Lily was entitled to no recovery. But remember, I talked about consent, about if there's a bunch of siblings in a family and one of them is suing for wrongful death, you're supposed to reach out for consent to join the lawsuit, um, to your other siblings. And that's what this article talks about or this publicity piece talks about. And here's what it looks like. Chris Cornell's daughter's role as nominal defendant detailed in death lawsuit. Some media outlets have misreported Tony Cornell being a nominal defendant in Vicki Cornell's lawsuit against Dr. Robert Koblen over the death of her late husband, Chris Cornell. This article is being written to clarify that initial false reporting. I wouldn't say it was false reporting. It was a mistake. Someone didn't realize that Lily is the oldest daughter, the daughter from the former marriage, not Tony. It was a mistake. I don't think they intentionally reported it that way. Lily Cornell Silver is the nominal defendant in the lawsuit, but in no way does that mean she is being sued. Let me make this clear. This article or Vicky or anyone could care fucking less that Tony's name was written there instead of Lily's. This is the real point of the article. Hence that sentence right there. Lily Cornell Silver is the nominal defendant in the lawsuit, but in no way does that mean she is being sued. What did I just tell you in the beginning of this video? I imagine people jumped on social media and jumped all over Vicky's shit, saying that she's suing Lily. Um, that's the reason for this article. They could care less about the false reporting. Uh, it's really, they, it's again, Vicky is the consummate publicist. She wants to make sure that everyone knows that she's not suing Lily. That's why this article's here. And that's why I found it interesting. And that's why I'm sharing it with you. The primary defendants listed on the lawsuit are Robert Koblen, MD, Robert Koblen, MD, Incorporated, Robertson Cardiovascular Center, LLC, 
does one through 30 inclusive. Remember those extra 30 spaces, you know, just in case they want to sue everyone, the janitor, the secretary, you know, you never know who Vicky could grab some money from. Row office staff, one through five inclusive. The second defendant, though nominally, they make sure they mention that again, is Lillian Jean Cornell Silver, nominal defendant pursuant to CCP 382. An adult. While Cornell Silver is listed as a defendant, this does not mean she's being sued. They say that twice. That's how you know the point of the article. They could give a f two fucks about the false reporting and the mistaken, you know, name, the mistake on the name. Uh, this is what they care about. This is the reason for the article. This does not mean she is being sued. It just means that her consent, her consent was not obtained to become a plaintiff, which according to California law means she is a nominal defendant. Her consent was not obtained. Again, I ask the question, did they even reach out to Lily and attempt to have her join this lawsuit? Or did they just go forward with it and not say shit without her consent and just serve her as a nominal defendant? In my opinion, that's exactly what they probably did. They probably didn't say shit to her because they don't care. Vicky wants the money. She doesn't care if Lily gets any money out of this. So again, I say, did they reach out and try and get Lily to join this lawsuit? And did Lily deny consent or not give her consent? It sounds to me the way it's worded here. It just means that her consent was not obtained to become a plaintiff. That sounds to me like they didn't even reach the fuck out. And that's exactly what I said in my video yesterday. I imagine that's how it all went down. Do I know for sure? No. But the wording here kind of indicates that I'm on the right track with that thought. That just like the greedy sister in the story I told you yesterday, Vicky wants all the money. California Code of Civil Procedure Section 382 states inter alia that when one cannot obtain the consent of another person who should be joined as a plaintiff, he may be made a defendant, the reason thereof being stated in the complaint. I explained all this stuff to you yesterday. A non-consenting person in such a situation is often referred to as a nominal defendant because he is a defendant in name only. If the consent of anyone who should have been joined as a plaintiff cannot be obtained, he may be made a defendant, the reason thereof being stated in the complaint. And when the question is one of a common or general interest of many persons, or when the parties are numerous and it is impractic impracticable to bring them all before the court, one or more may sue or defend for the benefit of all. The plaintiffs are Vicki Cornell individually, Tony Cornell and Christopher Nicholas Cornell minors by and through their guardian and litem Vicki Cornell. The case is described as complaint for damages, negligence, failure to be obtain informed consent, willful misconduct, heir as nominal defendant, demand for jury trial. There are other references to defendants in the lawsuit, all of which specifically omit Lily. Again, they made that point a third time, if not a fourth time, by explaining the law. They wanted to make that clear. Again, they start the article off with the false reporting, putting Tony's name in place of Lily's name. It, that was a mistake. It wasn't false reporting, first of all. The only false shit we're getting is on how Cornell died and... Uh, this whole lawsuit is false, in my opinion. It's yet another attempt at a money grab because Vicky wasn't satisfied with whatever smaller payout she got from the insurance or no payout at all. I'm wondering if she got anything now that she's suing the doctor a year and a half later. But again, that last sentence, all of which specifically omit Lily, they wanted to ram that point home. I would have loved to seen the comments on social media yesterday 
when people realized that Lily was a defendant, when people were posting that piece of the um, lawsuit, uh, that one page that showed Lily as a defendant. That's exactly why this article is put out. Again, it's a publicity piece. Vicky wants to make sure that everyone knows that she's not suing Lily. But here's another thing. Lily ain't getting any of the money if there's an award. Because the part they leave out about a nominal defendant is they have no right to recover. Just like those two stories I shared with you yesterday. It's really about the one greedy family member wanting all the money for themselves. Isn't it? Isn't that what it comes down to? And again, I ask the question, did they even reach out to Lily? Or did they just go forward with the sham of a fucking lawsuit? And I may be behind on the articles, but I still don't see Philippe Michel's name on any articles whatsoever. Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder why. Anyway, I just thought this article was interesting. And I know exactly why it's out there. I explained it to you three times. And I'm not saying it's because me. I'm not the one that jumped on social media and started saying, Vicky Sue and Lily, oh my God, what a bitch, blah, 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 blah. No. Keep calm. Look up what the terms mean. And... Make sure you're putting the right info out there and not jumping to conclusions. That's why I did what I did. I don't just jump on camera talking shit. I want to make sure what I'm saying is right and true. And I always try and do that. Anyway, if you'd like to help out with this so we can continue to bring commercial free content and spread the truth on the Cornell death, Bennington death, and Bourdain death. Please hit the, P the PayPal if you can. I know not everyone can, but please help out if you can. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you like the content, please subscribe and hit the little bell so you're notified of every video posted so you don't miss a thing. You don't miss any of the bullshit and lies Vicky and her mommy tell on a daily basis. Allegedly, of course. Peace be ever with thee.